All is fair in love and marriage Discussing everything from A to Z Cause that's the way it's supposed to be, yeah All is fair in love and marriage We may agree to disagree But in the end we know it's you and me, yeah What's up everybody? What's going on? It is us, the, the new Sims, and this is the All Is Fair in Love and Marriage podcast, episode six. six. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so first of all, it's our anniversary. <laughs> Officially, one month of recording, yeah, and man. podcasting, and all of that jazz. It's crazy. It is fun. It is super fun. It is stretching because we have to fit this into our crazy yeah this crazy schedule <laughs> juggling the parenting and work and school and lord have mercy interviewing and i mean literally got <laughs> off the call because i just started yeah, a new position yesterday mm-hmm. yesterday mm-hmm. and got off a call instantly hopped up Got my life mm-hmm. together. Tried to put the children to sleep, but you know, partially successful. Let's pray on that. And they came down here to record. Yeah, but it is fun. It is amazing. It is rewarding. It and is, and it, it feels is. great to know that we have people supporting us. Absolutely. Yeah, so that, that being said, thank you for all of your love and support. Yeah. I get that out the way now. We usually wait till the end to get all that in there, but. We appreciate it. Stick with us, cause we, we go in places. <laughs> I gotta talk to Doctor Seuss about that and see if that's his or not. We didn't Google that, did we? No, no, no. no. We gotta remember to do that's that. All right, Doctor Seuss, so let us borrow it. <laughs> he my homie. We go way back. <laughs> way, way back. <laughs> okay, so first proclamation. Yep. So once we hit the um, record button, <laughs> we will. Be able to, I don't know what the, what the, we don't know. We don't know. Listen, Definitely we just know that when we're done, stay here. when we're done, we good. Exactly. <laughs> and that's we don't it. Linger. I mean, you know, but when we watch it back, <laughs> <laughs> it get heated. Stuff definitely, like, <laughs> it jumped. But, man, I should have said this because that would have hit you. Right. <laughs> or, well, it'll start over. Yeah the conversation and the I don't want to say debate but the conversation it'll start it over and we just we don't I mean we don't take any feelings it's not toxic that's what we can say Mm -hmm. all of the feelings attached to the conversation will stay here stay down here in the studio but I don't even think we really have feelings about it. Like we really just we just banter and discuss and conversation. I mean, like last week with Christmas conversation, it got a little. I mean, maybe not for him, no. but I felt the energy. Got a little touchy, just because I know we have different views on. We have different views, and if we should visit family on Christmas Day or visit family on Christmas Eve, and that's a small, a small, small, small issue but I don't even call it an issue not an issue but like a I don't know I don't call it an issue either but just a a difference of opinion a difference of opinion you know, that matters though because it affects our family it affects our children so yeah. but you know even though we were discussing it down here we watched the YouTube the other day mm-hmm. and started talking about it again even brought Michaela in it like yeah. so what would you rather do <laughs> and she at first said uh uh-uh, and I'd rather you know she sided with me and then she switched up yeah. and sided with him and then she came back <laughs> not really she came back speaking <laughs> of Michaela she's gonna be my guest next week yeah I'll, I'll be sitting day. out but it's her birthday so we're gonna give her a chance to be put In under the the, yeah man yeah so I'm, like, I'm excited fighters. I'm excited. A YouTuber. I'm going to miss y'all. It's cool. We know y'all going to miss me too. But y'all still got the humorous one. I got me. Um, but she 
wants to be in front of the camera, you know, YouTube, because that's this this generation, and that's what they do. That's all they do. So I'm gonna let her join me, and we're gonna chat it up, and you know, vlog a bit, and all of that. She was like, "So, mom, they dumping me for her birthday. Do you have like?" the youtuber camera because like this is how they do it and i'm like girl bye yeah whatever <laughs> anyway and no we're not dumping you yes you are that's what you said the other day i did we're dumping <laughs> the boys because she wants to do you know teenage stuff and teenage girl stuff so we don't need you there dropping the dad hammer Okay. Whatever. You gonna leave me with the toddler and the in the baby? Yes. Go play catch. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Speaking of the dad hammer, we chatted a couple. I think it was like right after Thanksgiving. We were talking about punishment because we, you know, had some punishment issues here in the house yes yes we did so we we kind of discussed like the honor system i guess it would be called so initial punishment action is everything is taken away mm -hmm. right no electronics right no overnight visits right. no company mm -hmm. no um i kind of had an issue with it but no like buying stuff you know what i mean like okay one wanted a boba tea you ain't getting no rewards nah, just, can i get some starbucks you get nah. you get the bare necessities of life <laughs> food food water, clothing shelter. shelter period so i'm a little softy when it comes to that only because i think about the entire picture like I never want a kid to be traumatized behind punishment. Like, oh my God. Like, my mom and my dad and my brothers, they all went, you know, we all went to the mall and they all got ice cream and they said no to me. And I was just walking there without ice cream. And I remember that ever since I was 12. And now I'm 37 and I can't let it go. That she wouldn't have ever did whatever it was that it's caused so me. Like I just, I don't know. So we we see differently on that, but thankfully, um, we don't really have full debates on punishment because I think court chooses to digress. Yeah, and it's a there. it's it's the I don't know. I guess because of like it's, it's the blended family type thing. The, the family. me me being her non bio dad. Yeah. You know, I, I leave any sort of like physical um punishment and Absolutely. chastisement to to um bio parents. <laughs> I don't know, and me not you know, but even um I heard a lot of people say, you know, the dad doesn't typically chastise the daughter period just because your your hand is harder you know what that's I mean? not really and it just makes it to me i feel like psychologically it makes it okay for a man to discipline a woman I'm serious. Like I'm thinking. I'm thinking long term, oh right? I'm Lord. thinking long term. Right? <laughs> oh my Lord. So, like a man whooping his, you know, daughter. teenage daughter. Um, she might like, or not even, not even a teenager, but just coming up. Mm -hmm. So when she gets into a relationship, she might think like he might have that same mentality so he's hitting her and might think you know what i'm hitting you because i love you and what you did was wrong you made me do this you've seen those movies with yeah. you know abusive men i know so, what you're talking about know, it can just kind of go both ways like i told you i think of like the bigger picture i think of the mental state i think of all of that so so you believe that in most homes 
if there is a mother and a father figure mm-hmm. um, present that the father never physically chastises the daughter? I don't think that he never physically chastises the daughter. I think it is very rare. I think it's very, very rare when it happens. So I'm so looking at, and again, it's a, I guess it's a difference of upbringing. Granted, yeah. I grew up in a household where it was just boys, but I also had sisters that were um that were either adopted um so like my um my guy sister but she was raised in our household at one point um Keisha and Sheena um my dad whooped their butts I saw it many a times <laughs> um and then when it comes to like even my sister Taylor she got whooped um and then I look at my grandfather, who was also the disciplinarian in, in my life. <laughs> my, my grandmother ain't with nobody. Yes. Gammy is very, <laughs> is very petite. And, and my grandfather, he comes with a strong, with a strong eye. Right. But I mean, and, I, and like I said, it's it, not, it is not something that I don't frown upon it. I don't say anything about anybody that, you know, what works in your house, work in your house. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll and... What works for your marriage and your family, it works for your marriage and your family, you know. But I personally just, I just kind of feel differently. And I don't know if it's, like, back to upbringing, we come from two totally different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't have my father in the house. And my mother was the disciplinarian. And she dropped the hammer, Mm -hmm. okay. So, it was never any questions. However, it was... It was not, it was, it just was like, I think because of my upbringing, it just made it, it was like a negative, like, shined on, like, the man disciplining the girls. And typically, you know, in the perfect world, when you call that, he ain't got to whoop nobody, but his voice alone is going to, you know, in a perfect world, like, in a, you know, in an idealistic home i'm gonna tell daddy on you but that's because he's already laid a foundation of what will happen no yeah because that's yeah not true. no that's because that's because, what happened no, cordy because cordy the very first time <laughs> you gave a empty promise because cordy will cordy i mean sometimes he does you are front you front okay before <laughs> the very first time I'm trying to think of what happened I don't even remember what happened but Court grabbed a belt and Cordy ain't ever get whooped with a belt ever like and he grabbed a belt because you know black families you grab a belt he grabbed a belt and Cordy was terrified how I have no explanation. So it has nothing to do <clears throat> with laying the foundation of discipline. Nothing at all. Cordy was never like that. That Cordy was never whooped. He's first of all, he's only three and a half. Mm-hmm. So like he hasn't had a long life. Yeah. And I didn't first pop him until he might have been three. I don't. I think he might have got like a pop at like three years old. So like. It's never been no, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a whooping because he never seen it before. Michaela get whooped all of just You a lie. Ooh. <laughs> Listen, so like Michaela, she wasn't disciplined like that either. So it's really okay. I think it's just honestly like society like he doesn't see it so where does the fear come from (laughs) (laughs) like I don't I don't know I don't agree with you know the man has to set a foundation of discipline just because Cordy has never gotten that discipline but was fearful instantly so I honestly think it's just he had never gotten the belt but he he's he had gotten popping stuff before. But okay, so regardless, if you don't, if you're if you've never seen 
Well, I can't say that because I'm afraid of dogs. If you've never seen, I don't see why not. I just ready now. Cordy, come drink some of this juice. You want some? Okay, sit down. Uh huh. Cordy. You don't need to be down here without no clothes on. Cordy, you don't have on any clothes. Take the toys upstairs. Go ahead. Hmm. Like I said, I don't think that, like I said three times, because we were greatly interrupted <laughs> by the three year old. Mr. Three himself. Mr. Three. Um, he's going through it. He's just going through it. <laughs> He's normally at daycare. Yeah. And we normally don't have any issues like this during These taping. No, 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 we don't. But today is it's an adjustment. Day. Like we said, we're juggling today. Today is a juggle. <laughs> we're juggling today. Today is a juggle day. Yeah. But um, so like with punishment, like mm -hmm. so for Michaela, she got into trouble, mm -hmm. and instantly, boom, everything gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. I don't really know how. I'm learning this thing because I've never parented a teenager girl before. I've been a teenager girl, but the times were different. Yeah. However, temptations were the same. Access was different. Access now is wide open. Wide open. Wide open. Access then was it. not the same. I hate it. However, the temptations were the same. And, um,. So that just came to me. So if you want to preach it, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to, you know, I had to adjust. Mm -hmm. And I did go to, you know, I got some advice from my mom. I got some advice from my spiritual mother, First Lady Tucker. Hey, and mom. Hi, Mom. And I, you know, learned how to kind of enter back in. Teach your back end. Teach, 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 teach. teach. <laughs> um, so like the first week, she had access to nothing, and I want to say it was like a week and a half. Um, because I gave her her phone back on Thanksgiving, and she got in trouble the Tuesday before. So it was like a week and a half, and I gave her her phone because it was a holiday, and because my spiritual mom gave me that advice. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna take her advice because it's golden. That's you know that was my thought. Um, and then with the watch came, I mean, with the phone came back her her Apple Watch because mm -hmm. you know it's a pair. It goes together. <laughs> she hasn't gotten her laptop back. She hasn't gotten her iPad back. Um, and she hasn't gone over anybody's house, which that's also with COVID so it's not just that right. but like when we had that issue like or that conversation about you know her getting things back it was kind of like a, a toss up between me and you because yeah. you didn't agree with I didn't. Like, her getting anything back um, but like I said it's like the prison system or not even a prison system it's, oh yeah the prison system once you get out of prison you don't, if you've done a long bid, you don't immediately go home. You go to a halfway house and you earn your privileges back. So, like, I I felt like... For me, I felt like for the offense that was done, it wasn't a long enough period of time for the initial punishment to mm -hmm. stick. But if that's the case, when a, a person goes before a judge and... They look at their record. They're mm -hmm. like, okay, I see you got in trouble, you know, once before. Right. Um, I give you three months. 
or you know and somebody might be like oh my gosh that's a slap on the wrist but somebody else it might work for that person mm -hmm. so to me i look at it as but again case the, this, by case, this wasn't the first offense it wasn't a first offense which is why i went the way i went <laughs> everything ain't for the podcast <laughs> just know what i did i did i did no, but and I hear what you're saying, but but you you brought up the, like people being in prison. Mm -hmm. You like when when you're when you're in prison, yeah, there's an option for you to go on parole, but there's a certain amount of time to where you have to do that part of the sentence before parole is even a, a um, option. I don't even mean parole. I mean even just well, yeah, technically, if you if you get parole, that's when you go to the halfway house. Right. However, it is. There, there's a certain amount of time that you have to do before you go before the parole board and you can I used to want to be a parole officer that's another conversation <laughs> um, I really wanted to be a parole officer bad man anyway so like you go before the parole board and you plead your case and you present your case and they deny or you know they approve and I feel like you know for this situation I felt like for one I don't know did you feel like did you feel like she she brought forth a good case um I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now I did I know you didn't but I don't think like my thing I I can't like Michaela can't prove herself to me and she doesn't have the ability to prove herself to me my, my thing is, I, I agree. I agree with that 100%. Right now, I'm not worried about you proving yourself. Because right now, you're not... you. For me, you don't even have the, the ability to do anything. Once once I feel you're, you're worthy of getting your stuff back, mm -hmm. then at that point, now I'm going to give you the room to prove yourself to me. So let me ask you a question. So I remember I was 14 and I committed an offense. Okay. My mother was like, you have option A mm -hmm. or option B. This is just comfortable. Option A, do you want to get your butt toe up? Or option B, do you want to be on punishment? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think I chose? You chose the, the whooping. I chose the whooping mm -hmm. because... You knew it was going to be over real quick. It was going to be over. It hurt it. Okay. She laid it down. <laughs> Okay, you gotta be over there and sit down and be quiet. <laughs> sit down. It was the look. Mm -hmm. in the <laughs> I feel what I was saying. Or what are you saying? I was saying about the whooping versus the. Um. <clears throat> so. I chose the whooping because, yes, I knew it would be over. Mm -hmm. But do you think it would have been fair if my mother gave me the whooping? If I was like, I'll take the whooping. I got the whooping. And she was like, you know what? I'm putting you on punishment, too. Yeah. Well, depending on the offense. I don't know what the offense was, so I don't know. But if it was a offense that was equivalent to what we went through with our daughter. It was more than that. Well, then absolutely. But how is that fair? It is. I don't know. See, see, that's that's where we we parent differently. Well, I'm not gonna say we parent differently because, thankfully, we don't bump heads as much. You know, we are kind of we we put on a united front to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't feel like, and that's again goes back to last week where I said you come from a parent uh, a childhood, and I will say I'll say dictatorship. I feel like there's a lot of dictatorship in the way that you parent and in the way your mom parents. That's where that question came from about are you going to give give her the option to go to daycare? Mm -hmm. This new age parenting. That's what she said. It's not it's, it's not even about dictatorship. Like when when you go before a judge, they're not gonna ask you, do you want um I don't even... They will. They will say... Like, I mean, I'm not... They're not going to ask you. They'll tell you what the punishment is. Right. However, but they're not going to give you... 
for the majority of offenses, they're not going to say, um, you like if you on probation or you, you got to do community service and go, that's yeah. not common. I don't know if I've ever heard that. Now I've heard probation and community service, which is punishment and earning your way back in. Again, that's the, but that would be more so for a first time offender. No. Yeah. No, Chris Brown got prom- um. Chris Brown is also famous, and okay. and they they no okay. that's that's not that's not a valid. Michael is a celebrity in our home. Wow. <laughs> no, anyway. no, I like my thing is I just I I like I said I don't feel unless it's a hundred percent necessary for me to crack the whip, which is what I did. So what what warrants something to be necessary? <laughs> well. To, to be necessary to do what? Like, to do what I did or to make the punishment longer? To make the punishment longer? Anything. Because essentially, she's still like, can I have my laptop back? Can I have my iPad back? She hasn't gotten that stuff yet. And obviously, she misses it because she continues to ask. She misses the access to it, but... Because she continues to ask. At, but at the end of the day, the stuff that she wants to do for enjoyment, she's still able to do. No, she can't play sims. She can't. Okay, that's one. That's, that's one, one factor. Of, that is one of Michaela's I get, biggest. I get time that. Time killers. I get that, but she still has access to do whatever else she wants to do. Not really, because every notification on Instagram comes to my phone. I'm not. Wor- I'm not worried about that right now. So I'm saying, like, but she didn't. I'm, 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 ta- I'm talking about pleasure-wise, enjoyment, entertainment, all that stuff that was supposed to be. The package deal of the of the punishment factor is no longer a That's factor. That's not true. I disagree. Because if a person if a person go to jail, they serve their time and they get out. She ain't serve no minute. time. They go to jail, <laughs> they get out, and then they gotta put it on an anchor bracelet. They don't feel like they're hundred percent free because they still got something tracking them. But they know they ain't bound like they was. They know that if they make a mistake. Instantly, they're going back to jail. I disagree. I just disagree. Because you are a dictator. It's not about dictatorship. It's about punishment. Serving a punishment. And doing something that I feel would actually work. Like, I feel like she gets she, she gets let off too easily. She does get let off very easily. Um, for a couple of reasons. Because prior to 13... We ain't have no offenses. Legit. Prior to 13, we didn't have offenses. Not like this. No. What other? I mean, like, Michaela, Michaela got, like, a, a snappy mouth. Mm-hmm. What teenage girl don't? I'm not saying that it's not common. Or what girl doesn't. But I'm saying it's not common for them not to get punished for it. What is a punishment every time? What is a punishment for a snappy mouth? I mean, so I've I've seen if, if you if you snapping back at your parent, pop you right in that same mouth that you just got wild with. There, 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 there so, are times where I, have I mean, popped her in the mouth. But every time, I'm not saying you need a full out like take my belt off, put you no, over my knee, and no. But every time you pop, like I just I disagree because I feel like for one, if you realize that your child is getting a snappy mouth with you and every time they get a snappy you pop them in the mouth clearly that ain't working i mean it's not happening enough no it's, it's not it's working. like it's like it's like and it's not to say that i'm equating her to an animal but when you're training an animal mm-hmm. to be able to learn a behavior you have to do it repetitiously enough to where the the new learned behavior is actually learned and it sticks. No, I, I and the reason why I disagree with that is because it's like, all right, for Michaela, if so, our biggest thing with Michaela, and she does not like to be honest with you, like everybody, Michaela doesn't. She's not a bad kid. She's not. She's not I, a bad. I'm kid not saying she's a bad kid at she's, all. She's like, she's not a bad kid, and I work in social, social work, work. Mm-hmm. so I've 
and I'm not going to say I've seen bad children, but I've seen bad behaviors Mm -hmm. and I've experienced bad behaviors. Um, She's not. And I'm very blessed to, you know, I'm very blessed and very fortunate with her as my child, our child, Mm -hmm. you know, but Michaela has a snappy mouth and she'll be like, what I do, what I say. And we say it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And we ask, I asked you this question a long I say time ago. I say it's both. It's what you say and how you say we, it. I asked this question a long time ago. <laughs> how do you teach a child tone? How do you teach a child how to say something? You can't. For, for one, and I, I take on some ownership on this because... There have been times where both of us, we get snappy. And if that's the communication that's around the house, it's seemed as if it's a norm. So we can't, and I, like I said, I parent with the entire perspective. I don't just say, I'm the parent. These are my rules. This is what you Mm -hmm. do. You got to lead by example. If there's, there's been times where Michaela will say something to me and I'm like, okay, and then I turn around and get mad when she say, okay, to me. She don't say it like that. But she say it, and then it'd be like, okay. hold on, who was you talking to? But then I think about it, just an hour ago, she said something to me very, you know, minuscule, and I said, okay. And she just giving it, she's feeding it right back to me. She has not been on this earth long. She's been on this earth for 13 years. She hasn't had real life experience to know except for what she's learned in the house so i take some ownership when it comes down to teaching a child tone and teaching a child how to say stuff Mm -hmm. because i tell my i tell our kids like you have a right to say yes or no Mm -hmm. but you have to do it the right way our three-year-old is learning (laughs) his lines and learning how to cross them there's so many mm-hmm. things that he says that he didn't say anything wrong mm-hmm. but it just wasn't said right mm-hmm. you can't teach that you just have to kind of it's like a, a learning lesson a lesson to be learned you can't i don't, I don't know i i think i think it starts at a, at a foundational level um, cause like for me, I wasn't in Michaela's life in the very beginning. Mm-hmm. I came, I came in and there were already some stuff that she was exposed to some things that she's already learned mm-hmm. along the way. I come in and there's some stuff that you would accept that from my background, I'm like, Oh, I know dictatorship. No, it's not, not even dictatorship. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a certain level of respect and honor for your elders. And, right. and that's something that was in, that it was drilled into me. It just was, and to be exposed, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, you you not gonna check on this? I'm new here. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> you know, like, the, and, but again, like I said, Michaela's not, and she was not a bad child. Um, when we first when we first got together, I I felt like there was some type of bias um, on your part. With Michaela, just because I, I will say maybe maybe it came from the way that I raised her and the way that you you know were brought up or the you know your background. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of things I felt that there was some you know a little, a little bit of bias as far as you know my choices because I didn't like I said in my house in our house or I'll say in my house because we yeah, were that married point so in my right. house I I didn't Michaela was a child so like I'm not I didn't want to like I said I didn't want to be a dictator I didn't want to be that um you know that hired parent because you know truth be told I came from a hard parent you know my mom was she was she was tough on us but i appreciate it because she kept us from a life that could have went mm-hmm. another way um but i didn't want i never want michaela i never wanted her to feel like she wasn't free in her home um because if any 
place that is the one place that you can't be free is in your own home and like she never really like the only the only thing that I would have changed is just keeping her separate as much as I could but when you are a single parent and you don't have any other children around that's all I see so I can't like I said I can't be upset with how she with how she communicates I can't be upset with different mannerisms because that's what she see mm-hmm. and the same thing with Cordy you know there's been times where <laughs> Cordy will get mad at something that we say mm-hmm. mommy don't talk to me daddy <laughs> don't talk to me what don't talk and he'll say it again nah, I'll punch you in your nail <laughs> But why? You get what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, granted, we like, oh. But I don't. You know what I mean? But like, I what don't. You say? I correct the, don't I correct the behavior. But how do you correct the behavior? I mean, at this at this level, at a three year old level. You said foundation, though. Yeah. At this level. I'm at that point, it. like, uh, like for, for for something like that, like, no, you don't say that. Like, you, you correct you correct it. But then after, like, as they grow and they learn, now you know right from wrong. But I don't think that's okay to just say, no, you don't say that. Why? Because then... He doesn't have understanding of the why yet. And and, and I don't think cognitively he has the, um, the ability to yet. No, I think the way to do it would be, baby, instead, say this. I mean, instead, yeah. try this. Because... In correcting, you give them the alternative. Don't, don't say, no, don't say that. Because... Then they're going to think, when they get older, they can't tell somebody, no, don't talk to me. They have that right, because they are human. No, you're not hearing what I'm saying, though. I'm saying you correct it, and then so you, you give them an alternative. Well, I mean... Uh-uh, don't even say it. Don't even say it. Don't even say it. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no. But I think, okay, so like I said, in that, it is, like I said, our, our biggest issue is tone. And... Until somebody can tell me how to teach tone, we're going to always have this issue. Because there's no way to teach a person tone. They just have to learn. Like, if, like, with growing up, and my sister and brother can attest to this. First of all, you didn't have the option to say no. We didn't have the option to say no. Um, we didn't have the option to say, I don't want it. And Cordy says that a lot. Go get in the bed. I don't want to get in the bed. And granted, we don't say, oh, okay, then what do you want to do? No, I, I don't bed. care about what you want. I said, I said <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, we didn't have, like, we didn't have the option to have a difference of opinion with our parents. And that is very apparent in black homes. That as a child, you cannot have a difference of opinion with your parent. When I got to a certain age, mm-hmm. I was I was able to. But as as a child, well, no, why? because because it's the parent's duty to put the child on the path that they feel is the best path. Where did you get this from? Is that out your piggy bank? This out of mommy purse? Where you get this from? Is it from your piggy? This was in mommy's purse? Yeah. Yeah. Watch you. Here, sit down. This ain't no treasure, that's my money. Sit down. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Um, as we got older, mm-hmm. we were able to have dialogue with our with our parents. But it's job to mold a, a child. No, you, didn't in, say mold. you said direct. To yeah, to to, to mm-hmm. direct the child's path and put them on the path that they feel is the best. Right. Because coming up, you don't really know or have the understanding. Well, you have emotions. You have feelings. I get that. And in. In the average black home, you are not able, you are not allowed to express those emotions or feelings until 
you move out. <laughs> so, you know, it, it, that, like that was a teenager, I'd say. That wasn't my experience. Like, like, like if, if we were upset about something, we were sad about something in the moment, we might not have been able to voice it in that moment during the time of chastisement. Well, no, I get that. I get but, that. But after, after, it's, after it's done, yeah, you might have had a conversation, especially for my father. Like, he like he was the type, he, he came with an iron fist, but he also came afterwards to soothe the wound. I'm trying to... I, I didn't... I don't have that opportunity. You got a whooping, you got a whooping, and I mean, go ahead and cry it out. Because 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 the 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 goal behind the whooping is to make sure that it's not a repeated offense. So we want you to have understanding of why you got in trouble in the first place. Yeah, that's not that's and that's not you know typical behavior. Like you get a whooping, like just like the very famous phrase, but why? Because I said so. And I mean, and as a child, you might get that. But you might as, get but that. I don't agree with that. Like I don't think that that is. I'm not gonna say it's not proper parenting because I'm not telling anybody I am not an <laughs> parent. Okay. I don't think that is fair. Like I really don't think that's fair to say. Well, why not? And that was an issue. That was a big issue. I know you have a big issue with that. My mom used to have a big issue with that when Michaela would ask why or why not. And she would say it, and people would be like, what? Like, did you really? But I truly feel that when you give anybody, you know, a reason behind why you dislike a behavior, it puts things in perspective. It reinforces. I, I agree. Not the reinforcement. I'm saying it puts things in perspective for them to reason in their own mind. So, like, even in relationships, even in marriages, like, um... You know, if you be like, hey, babe, I want to go, I want to go play at the Iron Works, Iron Works, um, and I'd be like, no, but it's money. No, 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 that's not happening. You gonna have some ill feelings to me if I leave the conversation at that. I'm like, no. It's not happening. And as your wife, like we talked about last mm-hmm. night, you honor your wife and you're mm-hmm. like, all right, I'm just going to go. How about saying, well, why not? You know what, babe? Because the last time we was there was the time we had seen that one girl and she worked behind a bar. And I just, you know, I just don't feel comfortable with it. And I'm not able to go with you and blah, blah, blah. And you will have understanding to why I feel the way that I do. I get I get that illustration and I agree with that illustration. However, there's two different dynamics. As a child, they don't have those feelings. As a child, they're they're in a, a role that is subservient to a parent. But if okay, if Cordy runs into the street. Okay. Okay. So he see he see Michaela, he see Michaela all the time ride her bike in the street. Right. And he'll try over summer we went through this mm-hmm. he would try to go play in the street with her mm-hmm. you can't go in the street period and if he turned around and say why not because I said so no bring he's three years old bring understanding to it no Cordy cars are in the street you can get hurt you see but but the thing is in, in my experience with him in that, in that same situation mm-hmm. he doesn't ask why so it's the duty. I'm just using it's the du- I, 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 I know, right. I know, but I, I'm, I'm saying, it's, it's, again, it's a different dynamic. Because age plays a difference in how a child is chastised and how a child is addressed. It does. Age plays a difference as well as that child. Like, I think it's case by case, person by person, individual, individual. Like, with, okay, for instance... Michaela wants to, at the age 13, mm-hmm. she'll be 14 the next week. She says, Hey, mom, um, I want to go to the mall with my friends on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Can it just be me and my friends? No, because I said so. Right? See me. No, 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 wait a minute. I got you. Okay, go that, would be, that would be option A. No, because I said so. Because that, that would be the. The parenting dynamic that you take and that you were raised with. No, because I said so. Without understanding. And say, hypothetically, she's 
she sneaks out with her friends and be like, I'm just going to study at Aaliyah house. And they end up at the mall. And she get kicked out of the mall because you got to be in there with somebody 21 and up. Mm-hmm. So as opposed to me having a conversation with her, mom, can I go to the mall with my friends this Saturday? Blah, blah, blah. No, you can't go to the mall because you have to have an adult with you. You get what I'm saying? Like, it is nothing. It takes nothing away from a parent having a full conversation, regardless of age. For but for the record, if she came to me like like that, I would never say no because I said so. I'm just you are really. I'm, I'm just debate. no. I'm no. I'm no. I'm, oh I'm being. I'm being realistic. I'm being realistic. I can't think of any realistic situations <laughs> right now because I just can't think of it. But. You just like 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 normally in those situations where it's because I said so it's because of an aggressive tone that she's already she's already put in place. Okay, mom, can I go to the mall with my friends this weekend? It's just gonna be me, Aaliyah, and Nabea. No. No. Why not? Because I said so. At that, depending on how she how she says that, absolutely, you might get that. But why? Because because, because you've already set a foundation of aggression. And, no, and hostility. No. Why not? That's not that's no. aggressive. That's, that and, is, and, and, and for one, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful for her, for her to come to her parent okay, with that so tone. She just says, "Oh, why not?" The same reason. The same thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh I don't my see. God! You so fickle. No, no, I'm I'm serious. I'm listen, serious. listen, listen, listen. No, my thing. The thing about it is, granted, like we. A lot of parents expect children to be robots. Like, and I and I'm I'm not backing down from that. A lot of parents expect children to be robots. They expect children. You go to church. They three years old. When I was in church, I was in church for eons. Okay, from nine a.m. to six p.m. and then came back for seven thirty service or whatever. And they wanted children to be quiet. They wanted children to sit still. How crazy does that sound? See, I, I don't, I don't really know that, because like, go. regardless, uh, but regardless of the fact, like, children church was not always a uh, something that was in every church. It's mm-hmm. not something that's really like popular in a lot of churches. Like, you sit next to your grandparents or your parents in church, and you are expected to be quiet and to stay awake. That's unfair. <laughs> that is unfair. I would agree with Just, that. So even even if it's really okay, so we tell a child no, just like Cordy. Cordy keep coming down here because mm-hmm. he wanna be down here with us and because he see the lights and he see the camera and his toys over there and he mm-hmm. wanna play. And we're telling him no. And in the back of our mind we expect him to just okay and walk mm-hmm. away. I, I don't, and that's and that's why I said maybe we should tape later <laughs> because I know he's going to keep on coming. And down. then, <laughs> like even so, in that sense, you tell a thirteen-year-old girl, fourteen-year-old girl, that she can't go hang with her friends, and we expect her to say, "All right, Daddy, I trust you. I'll go to my room now." What? No, she's gonna be hurt. She's gonna be emotional behind mm-hmm. that. So for us to say, or for you to say, well, she said, well, why not? Like for her to respond that way is disrespect. But she's a human being. Nobody is no no like we. The well, why not one is um like I said, it's it's t- it's. It's up in the air for me. It's but, society. But the, but the first one, that was absolutely disrespectful. In no way I'm going to my parent, addressing them like that, and expect I'm not going to get in trouble. No, I don't. Th- like, me personally, and like I said, we we got... I'm probably on a on an island by myself when it comes to a lot of ways of conversation, I guess. Um... If even if Michaela were to come to me and say, Mom, can I go to the mall with my friends? Yada yada yada. And I'd be like, No. You know, I'm dismissive with a no. Oh, why not? First of all, I'ma tell you why you can't go. I'ma come back at her, but I'm going to give her that reason of why. I'm gonna I'm going to in my authoritative voice, you can't go to the mall because you gotta be with somebody twenty one and up. 
you want to have an attitude, but I'm trying to tell you, you know what I mean? Like, it don't take because I said so. See, but but see, for, for for me, firstly, it's gonna be because I said so because I'm your I'm your parent, and what I say goes. Secondly, here's why I'm saying it. I don't. But you need to know that you need to stay in your place as a child. I feel like because you are a child. A lot of times you're not my equal. Parents, no, I totally, I, I hear you on that. Like I'm not like that one, no. But I think that a lot of times we, like I said, don't treat children like humans. Like, I treat them like humans, but I, I don't treat them like, like you're my friend. And and like a lot of times we expect, and I, I I recall this question a lot because I used to have to do this question on what us caseworkers call FASPs. Mm. We hated them, okay? But it was a question of does the parent have unrealistic expectations for the child at their age? And that's like, you know, us expecting Cordy to every time he goes into the bathroom to use the bathroom, he knows to wipe the toilet seat when he, you know, if he sprinkles on the toilet seat, we know he's going to, um, you know, wash his hands, wipe off the sink when he's done, uh, pick up the tissue off the floor and throw it in the trash if he drops something. That's unrealistic expectations for three year old. <laughs> Very. <laughs> but we want him to, granted, we will love it, but he's three. Right. So even in the sense of a 13 year old, she has not lived yet, but we expect her to communicate on the same level as us. We expect her to emotionally respond the same that the same way that we do. She ain't had a job. She ain't been on a job interview. She hasn't, you know what I mean? She hasn't experienced the life that we've See, experienced. Like, for me, I don't think that that's my expectation. I don't expect her to not get emotional when she's turned away from what she wants. Mm-hmm. You can have those feelings, but just know how you need to um, to act in those in those moments. But we don't even we can't... respond that way. Hmm? Oftentimes, we be like, okay, you can have them feelings. She'll, she'll keep stuff to herself mm-hmm. and go in her room and then just... Michaela likes to, to talk out loud. <laughs> that's what we... You know, she, she don't be talking to herself like like that she talks out loud okay I wonder sometimes. <laughs> she'll be like she'll be like in the mirror and just be like going to town mm-hmm. on something that upsets her and we'd be like you better shut up you better stop talking you better stop that's unfair and i'm guilty of that i'm guilty of that that's unfair i know the letter have like, little fits. I, I laugh about it because I, I, mean, like, it's just, I laugh about it i like, think that Parents really, a lot of times, just expect children to be robots. I don't expect you to be a robot, but I expect you to be obedient. I expect you to be... But not, they won't always be obedient. And, and I get that, but in, in those times where you're not, that's when you get chastised. And you get corrected, because it's my job and my duty as a parent to show you what is supposed to be. You're supposed to be honorable to your parents. You're supposed to, especially right. being, especially in the, in a Christian household. Right. These are these are foundational principles that honor the mother and father that 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 days may be longer, and and also to train up a child in the way that they should go, so that when with that way when they get older, they won't depart from it. These are foundational truths that I I thoroughly believe in. In a way that they train up a child know, in the way they should go. There. Because we're gonna be here all day. We ain't talked about nothing else. Know, and, and, and that's doesn't okay. push to another that's episode. Okay. That's, that's fine. Okay. But like for me, it's just I think that we like I said, I feel like a lot of parents expect their children to be robots. Um, in the sense of not having emotion, not showing, not not showing their emotion to the parent because if it is different than the parent, it's mm-hmm. disrespectful. It is considered disrespectful, and that's just coming from a lot of black culture that or ways that we've been raised or you know whatever. You're talking back. If you have a different opinion, you're talking back to your parent, which is like what I'm just telling you how I feel. Like it. I want my, ch- my all of my children, I want them to be able to tell me how they feel. Yes, we will go through the 
emotions and the roller coasters of the way you say it. Mm-hmm. Because we're trying to teach Michaela now the way that she says things sometimes come off wrong, comes off wrong. And mm-hmm. I even give her a taste of her own medicine sometimes so that she can understand it. Um, but me popping her in her mouth every time she say it ain't gonna do it if okay. she's not putting two to two together. Wait, I'll, wait, I'll ask you a question. Hold it, okay. don't forget it. I'm gonna try. <laughs> and the thing with discipline, like you say, a child, um does not you know like okay you chastise when they do wrong but every individual has a different emotion emotional break Mm -hmm. i would say or threshold yeah and for carter i think if carter get a whoop it when he get older it ain't gonna face him Mm -hmm. cordy it's gonna face him but he gonna go right back and do it Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, so, but because everybody got to get a whooping. I don't care what everybody, anybody going to get a whooping. So everybody get a whooping and it don't do it to nobody. And I'm not saying everybody needs to get a whooping. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But if it's a, if it's an offense that warrants, yeah. warrants, like if, I, I feel like, I feel like depending on what it is, certain stuff, you, you don't need to get a whooping. Sometimes you just need a, a, a stern talk to two. Mm-hmm. But there are some there's some stuff that you you need to get smacked around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get smacked around a little bit because so, you because you knew what you were doing. Do you think that Michaela learned her lesson? I don't know. I really don't know because I, because I thought she learned her lesson before, and she didn't. Well, and this time around, I felt like I feel like if we would have stuck to the planned out. Punish- plan. Well, there, there really wasn't a plan, so maybe that's something that we need to develop. But but once there was, uh, the, we we had something established, and it was withdrawn very quickly. Oh yeah, I did say. It was withdrawn very quickly. Okay. So do I feel like it had a lasting effect? No. And that's I don't. because, like I said, I think that I think. And that- and and also no no disrespect to. Our spiritual leaders, because that's what they're there for. They're, they're there to give us guidance and insight. But once we get that guidance and insight, have another discussion. Mm-hmm. Because you went, you got, you got insight, and you acted. I acted, but not immediately. It wasn't. It wasn't immediate. But uh-huh. but you you made a decision that night in the cop. I did. I made a decision. <laughs> you did. Because only. But the thing about it is, for me, mm-hmm. especially when it came to. Um, talking to mom, she raised the teenage daughter. I, I, I get like, that. Just like not, not. And, and like I said, I appreciate that insight because not it's not really. something that I know anything about. So like for me, I wouldn't go to your mom and ask her mm-hmm. because she raised three boys. Right. I love my mother, but she raised two teenage girls mm-hmm. in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, ninety nine, two thousand. Um. So it's different. <sighs> So I love my mother, but the times were different. But when it comes to First Lady, mm-hmm. her daughter just got recent. out of high school. You're right. You're so right. they are are very, they're going through the same thing. They're in the same generation, essentially. Mm-hmm. So he's back, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> put on the chair. <laughs> he said, I'm not making it anymore. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How old are you, Courtney? <laughs> <laughs> y'all excuse his hair, y'all. <laughs> we work, we, we, it it's, it's a work in progress yeah. right now. No. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Sister, Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming to saying hi. So thank you for coming and saying hi. We appreciate it. We love you. Yeah, so I get why. What is this called? <laughs> editing. I get why you went to her and why her advice was so sound. Because it, granted, it was sound advice, mm-hmm. and, and and I I partially do agree with, you know, what what she what she suggested. Right. But there wasn't room for me to give my input at that point, as your husband and as I did ask you in the car, what do you think? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. 
And through walking through Wegmans. Yes, I did. Uh, I don't recall it that way. Oh my gosh. Yes, I, I don't. Did. But either way, do, do I think it stuck? No. And I, I, like I said, I think that you are just, and I'm not going to say just, but I, from the bottom of my heart, I feel like there's a little bit. And it, and it might it might need to be broken. We might have to do some altar work down here. <laughs> um, I feel like you've had this a little bit of a shield up with Michaela. Um, as far as I won't say bias, but a bias where you felt like she should have been raised a different way or she need to be whooped a little more. She need to be disciplined a little more. And that was from before we got married. And back I, I then, mean, I was like... I, I, uh, think, I think it's more so there are some areas where do I feel like she should be conditioned differently or, or, or reconditioned? Some areas, not everywhere. Because because there, everywhere. There, there are aspects of Michaela that I love. Yeah. You know, but that's, 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 my, that's my baby. But were there some things that I disagree with? Of course. Right, but I think that that holds you back a little bit. And I holds me back in what way? And I um just just like letting that complete wall down between the two of y'all. Um, and I, I notice it sometimes, not all the time. I notice it sometimes, and I, I pick up on it sometimes, and I just be like, okay, Lord, you work on it. But like, even when it comes to like our discipline, like I think that you feel like it should be a lot more harsh. But I don't think it has to do I with think, looking like a bias or anything. I just think there's a, she needs more discipline. I think it's a bias only because I recall from the beginning you know a memorial mm-hmm. like comments and you know different different things that have occurred where i've seen like behaviors that have my antennas raised uh, I, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a bias because there's nothing for it to be biased against or or or, or uh uh um how would you say like uh it is what just just your your preference or your thoughts of how a, a girl should be parented or how you know other girls you know have been parented you know like if you don't address something and if you just pile up on top of it it ain't gonna go away mm-hmm. so i think that because you had this thought of she need her butt toe and i mean but i, I, I think, i've been, one I think I've been saying i've been answer. saying that for a long time but but, but, but again is, but again, from 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 my standpoint, I'm not the one that's going to do it. Uh-oh. I suggest it to you, and you don't. I do it when it's necessary. You've done it, I think, since we've been married, once that I can that I can actually recall you actually giving her a whooping. So how many times since we've been married has it been warranted? Probably four. I only know. Probably four times. I won't say four. I would. I would say two. I would say four, and I'm not going to discuss it on here. I, I'll be happy to share it with you later. But, we'll talk about it later. But I think but four, absolutely. Been two times that she has. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. It's, two it's, times. It's two with the with the current situation. Mm-hmm. There was one with a uh, similar but not the same. We'll discuss it later. Oh no. We'll discuss it later. But. The last time that it needed to be done, it was done. And Michaela, I don't like, you just got to know the person. And me being her mom, I'm emotionally connected to her. Okay. So she was in me. Okay. So I feel like she's very fragile. I don't, I refuse to break her. Um, I feel like black parents are very much like sororities and fraternities. Well, break down the build up. Break down the build up. And I'm not going to parent that. I was never really broken down, though. You were a different kind of child. My brothers were never really broken down. I mean, there was... 
They do that in fraternities and sororities. They whoop you. But but with them, what they do, they do they do physical, emotional, physical like it's it's all. Take that. Go get your clothes on because we gotta go. Bye bye. This is all that was in there? You ain't got no more than this? There's a couple of other dollars in here, but... Go upstairs and get some clothes. I feel like it was heavier than... (laughs) Definitely have more in there. Get some pants and some socks. Okay? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) What do you mean? Absolutely. Black houses will... I've I've known I've known mothers mm-hmm. that will cuss their daughters out. See, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know I don't know that. I get that, and it's not. I'm not saying that it's that. our way of parenting. I'm just saying that there are there's a there's a medium, and there's you mm-hmm. know there's the big extreme that there are parents that feel like they're not doing anything wrong, going off on their daughter, going off on their child, you know, demeaning them as a person and whooping them. That's not okay. No, that that's. I don't agree. That's not okay. So, like, to me, I think, like, it's all a part of hazing. Like, you break down your kid. So, and I find myself, you know, um, saying things. And I'm like, wow, like, I, you know, I just need to, if I get real angry, I have to find the right words because words hurt. And words linger. And I don't ever want to be the responsible one for making my kids need mental health counseling when they get older. No, absolutely not. I will, unfortunately, God blessed me with three children. And it can be, it's a task. It's not a burden because I think burden is negative. So I won't ever say that they're a burden to me, but it's a task. And for me to parent them to the best, think of God. Mm -hmm. When we do things wrong, he never throws it back up in our face. He never tells us how horrible people we are. He never puts us down verbally. If he chastises us, he chastises us. And then he throws it in the sea of forgetfulness. Yeah. A punishment is not if you say you want a punishment for three months. Every day you wake up and you want punishment for three months, it is still hanging over your head. So the same way that you said last week, the grace and the forgiveness that God has given us, mm-hmm. why can't we transition that to parenting? We've done so. Against your will? No, no. I, I'm saying, I'm saying, the the first offense we forgave, we moved on. Right. But then it comes again, and and th- th- this is this is my my um experience with with God. Granted, if, if I if I repeated an offense, the first time, yeah, okay, boom, I was covered, boom, I got a small little punishment, but move on. Jesus. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> but no, but but there there were times where there was a punishment from God where it was literally a, a long lapse of yeah time, but not every time. Not every time, no. Right. But if but it, it builds up to that point, and no. this time was a build up. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's true. That every like it builds up with god no it does not. it does because he, he, he said part, himself there's two parts like when it comes to your punishment with god there is no amount of time or amount of you do this repeated offense this many times this is gonna happen I mean, no, it's, you can't be a, turned over to a reprobate. Mine is a, different. It's a heart situation. However, there's a, there's a heart situation and there is the enemy will come and try to play on your guilt mm-hmm. and try to make you feel like you're still in that place. And you might not even be in that place. And some God might be like, yo, like, what are you doing? Like, I'm mm-hmm. trying to push you back into the place that I want you to be in. Mm-hmm. But you're like, Lord, I can't believe I dropped the ball. Oh my God! But but there's also there's also the illustration in the Bible where 
there was repeat offenses and he said, okay, I've forgiven you time and time again, but one day you're going to call on me and I'm going to laugh at your calamity. Right. That's not the same as you, like when you do repeated, repeated offenses, that is by choice. Mm -hmm. You are making the choice to turn to temptation. You're making the choice. But was that not the case? As a babe in Christ, it's not the same way. No. God don't hold you as a babe in Christ. He's not going and and he's not gonna hold you because you don't have that knowledge. You're he knows your heart. Mm. And as a babe in Christ, you're not held to the same um standard. Standard, that's the <laughs> you're not held to the same you're not held to the same standard that you are when you're you know if you're a pastor a minister been saved for years know the word back to back a 13 year old child you can't say oh she knew and she made the, the conscious decision to turn to temptation no I can't I don't agree with that I do not agree with that at all. Okay, at so all. so say she two months down the line we find ourselves in the same situation. Mm-hmm. Do you still feel that way? I feel like she getting I will say for instance I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a situation where I won't be like blasting. Okay. Me and you. Before mm-hmm. we got married. Okay. Had sex more than once. Yes, we did. And it wasn't always a, to me. I don't know about you. You told me last time you was definitely a devil and you was out to mm-hmm. get me and steal me from my calling. <laughs> I want that that wasn't what I said. That's what you said. <laughs> That's not what I said. Oh uh, <laughs> but I don't think that everybody that falls is making the conscious choice to fall. Not every time. But if you not even no, that's not it's not fair to the, say. The, the, there's some stuff to where it's <laughs> You better tear up, baby. You got shoes on? Go get your shoes. Go get your shoes. <laughs> I love you so much, dude. <laughs> Okay, okay go, get your shoes. go get the shoes. Y'all, this episode. Oh, I have mercy. I think that it is unfair to say, it is unfair for you, for anybody to say that after so many times, you know what you're doing. After so many times, you're making a conscious choice. It is unfair for so, you to put a number i can't say so for me i'll be like you know what it take about five times for me to stop drinking and it should take the same amount of time for you too depending on the situation it only takes one one time so if if you go into a store and you steal how common is that hmm? how common is that is what it only takes one time what you mean? How common is for it for somebody? How common is it for somebody to be like, after this one time, I'm good? It's common for somebody to know right from wrong and that there's going to be consequence. Yeah, I think so too. But you, that don't necessarily now. Say, if you take the chance on doing it, that's on you. I, I don't. I think that sometimes people fall to temptation. Sometimes people fall against their will and against. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So we agree to disagree on many of these levels. We're gonna have to um, dive into this again a little bit more um, next episode. Yeah. Um, it was great talking about it, though. I mean, we, you you pulled you pulled on me a little bit. I pulled on you a little bit. We that we both a little bit deeper than we have in yes. prior discussions, but we still haven't gotten to. <laughs> okay, practice. We scratched the surface. Um, okay. But it's, but it's okay because at the end of the day, we're going to be a united front for our children. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's that. We're going to keep on being <laughs> great parents. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Corey, come over here. You, you, you want to come over here and close out the show with us? <laughs> All right. So, All right, guys. So, like I said, we've ha- we dove a little bit deeper, and we've gotten closer to the root, but we're not there yet. So we're gonna we're gonna pick this up. Probably the next episode, maybe. No, not next episode. Actually, we actually might. next episode. We might. We might. Oh, we do it together. Uh, we might do it a little bit different. Baby shark. Cody, Cody. We can't pay the people for baby shark. Okay. You want to say bye to the people? Yeah. Say bye. Bye. This, this is- has been all is fair in love and marriage podcast we thank you guys for watching us we ask that you like share comment subscribe subscribe turn those notifications on yes on every one of the social media platforms apple spotify google youtube all follow that. us on facebook Instagram, all of it. everything all of it we're gonna dive in again to this yeah this this was good our guy this guy this guy right here Say Look bye. at the camera. Bye. We'll see you next time. See you next Peace. Time. See you next time. Peace out. Peace too. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>